Looking for the best hand sanitizer for when you're on the go? Well, you've come to the right place. Hi again, this is Eric Knight. I've been inventing consumer products and services for over 35 years, some of which you may have used yourself. And it's not uncommon for people to ask me what I recommend on a variety of consumer products. So through my company, I put together this YouTube product recommendation channel. It's fun for me. I don't get paid by product manufacturers, not a penny. So what you hear is my absolute genuine opinion. I'm here today to give you my thoughts on the best hand sanitizer for when you're on the go. And it's not what you may expect. Those little bottles you can find just about everywhere, they're typically 2.5 ounces, cost about a dollar. That's okay, but if you use it regularly, especially during cold and flu season, you can use up that bottle pretty fast. So what I recommend is finding an economical refill, like the 60 ounce bottle of the discount brand Equate. You can Google it to find a retailer, but the brand itself is not the important thing. It's the ingredients. Look on the label for the percentage of ethyl alcohol. All reputable brands, including the name brands, have a percentage of 63%. That's the key number, 63%. If you get that, it will work essentially the same as the name brands, and you'll save yourself a bundle. This particular bottle of 60 ounces cost me just $5.97. That would give you 24 refills of that little 2.5 ounce bottle. So for about $6, you get what would otherwise cost you about $24. Now that's a good deal. Bottom line, shop around. Find the lowest priced discount brand you can that has 63% of ethyl alcohol, and you're good to go. For more product reviews, please subscribe to my YouTube channel called Eric's Choice. It would also be great if you like this video that you're watching, just click on the thumbs up. You can also check out what I have cooking at my company, Remarkable Technologies, by visiting RemarkableTechnologies.com. You can also visit my personal site, EricKnight.com. And last but certainly not least, you can follow my very latest thoughts on Twitter at I underscore Eric. That's the letter I, then an underscore, then Eric. Until the next product review, see ya!